Hi, I'm Melissa, lead esthetician here at Rejuvenation Med Spa. Earlier we talked about um, our different kinds of chemical peels. Right now we're going to demonstrate one. We're going to demonstrate the lightest one. So this is Angela. Yesterday she had a dermal planing. So her skin is all ready to go and ready to accept this peel. I would recommend doing both of those things together because you get the very top layer off and then the peel has an opportunity to penetrate deeper. So first step is cleansing. We're going to give her a nice cleanse. This light peel has a lot of salicylic acid in it. A salicylic is really great for any sort of blemish or bacteria. So if you're struggling with acne or anything like that, I highly recommend this lightest one. Um, also, like I said, she'll be glowing for her holidays now. Um, after the dermal plane and then the peel today. So what we're doing right now is stripping the acid mantle, so the top layer there that kind of protects you from anything penetrating, we're going to get rid of that. Angela's holding a handheld fan to blow any fumes away. It also feels good if it gets hot, she can cool herself. So the first step was taking away that acid mantle and getting the skin prepped for the peel. Second step is actually application of the peel. So this gets a little warm, that's why again she's holding that handheld fan. So we start with one pass and see how her skin reacts to it and give it a minute. And I'm watching the color of her skin, making sure that it's not like getting too red. We expect it to react a bit, like sometimes it gets a little white, sometimes it gets a little red, depending on what your skin condition is and what you have going on. Oh, so right here, she's frosting. This reaction is awesome. This means that we're killing bacteria and she might get a little bit of a peel out of this. Okay, so this is her skin response here. We call this frosting, where you can see there's just kind of a white layer on top of it. it looks like frost. Um, this is her skin reacting to the peel. That means that we're going to be killing any bacteria, and then she might actually get a little bit of flaking after this, so this is good. So after the first pass and giving that time to react, I'm just going to go ahead and do a second pass because I think her skin can take it. And this peel, we're just going to leave it sit on her skin for about five to seven minutes. Part of the reason this is penetrating so well is because you had that dermal plane yesterday. So sweet! When we do dermal planing and a peel together, we call it a power peel because it's even that much more powerful. So right now, I'm just going to let her use the fan wherever she needs to and we're going to be just waiting for this to set in and then we'll be removing it. Okay, so what's happening right now is we just got the second layer of the peel on and now we're just going to let it sit for our five to seven minutes. Um, you can see that it got even more frosted as we did the second set. So I'm letting it do its work so it's getting down there and killing bacteria and making her skin cells turn over. So Anne just going to fan herself and just remain comfortable while we wait. So right now what we're doing is removing the peel. This one we leave on while it's on, it's active. So we remove it. And Angela described this as like, when you choose cinnamon gum, like that's what her face felt like. <laughs> Just a little bit of a hot little stingy sting. That just means it's active and it's working. Okay, and again, cool towel. The cool should feel good. This is a cool treatment when we're using the water and such. So like I said, the <clears throat> The light peel is great for like if you have an event or something coming up and you just want your skin to be glowing, but you don't want to have a whole lot of peeling. Um, also, like it's great for 
cleaning out bacteria. So salicylic acid is like Drano for your pores. It gets in there and like kicks stuff out. So if you're struggling with a little bit of hormonal acne or any kind of acne, that's very helpful. So final step is applying sunscreen because by applying that peel, it has compromised your skin so it's more vulnerable to um, sunburn. Even though it's winter, we wanna make sure that we protect you before we send you out. Um, I was telling Ange that this peel, she could expect some flaking and peeling, but not to expect like sheet peeling and it's called a chemical peel, but you don't always see that peel. I mean, if you looked at your pillowcase or something, you might find some little white leftover skin cells. Um, but it doesn't have to look like a big chemical, like a big peel, like what Hollywood might tell you it should look like in order for it to be working. We know that this is going to make her skin cells turn over and that her skin's going to be tighter, lighter, brighter. Those are my favorite words because everybody wants that. And as far as aftercare goes, I want her to be gentle with her skin tonight. So use a gentle cleanser when you cleanse. Um, wear sunscreen for sure, because we, like I said, you're a little more compromised. Um, don't pick or pull or scratch at anything <laughs> as it's coming off. Everybody has the tendency to want to pull loose skin while we want that skin underneath to be ready to come to the surface when it comes. So don't pull the stuff on top because that can cause more injury. Um, and like I said, when it hits the environment, we want the skin underneath to be healed. So sunscreen, be gentle with it. Stay away from retinols at least for a week or um, tretinoins at least for a week. And you don't want to use something with a salicylic for a week either. So just let it do its thing. Book now to get ready for your holiday parties. So you want to be ready for that and then especially for New Year's right everybody wants to be shiny on New Year's um, new year new face new you so if you haven't go like us on Facebook follow us on our website we're also on Instagram we're on all those social media things and watch for flash sales because you might just have a really great deal pop up on the two of those things <laughs>